what's going on you guys welcome back to my channel um y'all see this green i just made this wig like i brought the hair the blonde and i dyed this really cool green and now that i'm looking at it i should have crimped the entire thing so this um this is not a hair review video i'm gonna get into what we came to discuss but for those of you, if you are interested, this is Janet hair. It's not the new, the newest hair that came out. It's not that melt bundle. This is just a, oh, okay, I actually have the pack. Um, doesn't even specify really, but it's this. This is their, um, Phyllis is Brazilian. I think it's Brazilian hair. Almost positive that it's Brazilian hair. It's Brazilian hair. And it was in blonde, 613. And I used a Doors electric green. And unfortunately, it did take me a bottle and a half, two bottles to get this color. Um, I did do the watercolor method on this hair. But unfortunately for me, when I first dyed it, I didn't unravel the bundles. I just put the bundles in the water. And where the string is, there was a white, like the blonde patch was still there. So I had to, once I made the wig, I didn't re-dye it. So that's how I got this bright, crazy green. I love it though. This, this is a vibe. This is a whole summer vibe right here, you guys. All right. So what we're initially here for, this is the second installment of what I've been watching during quarantine. So my last video was what I was watching on boomerang today we are going to discuss what i've been watching on disney plus now if you are like me and you are of age guys we're getting old 90s babies we're getting up there in age folks but disney plus now if you are one of these Star Wars fans, you can leave now because I am not a Star Wars fan. I don't care how boring quarantine gets. I am not watching anything Star Wars. I will not sit through it. I, again, not, not my vibe. It, it is what it is, right? So this is in no random order and I feel I've been watching the same things on Disney Plus. First up. Guilty as I am, I have been watching Frozen too. As much as I complained of how long that movie was, I enjoyed the plot more for Frozen 2. The soundtrack wasn't as hard as the first one though. Like it's legit only two songs on Frozen 2 that I actually enjoyed. But the plot of the movie was, it was, it made a lot of sense. So I was here for it. Um, As most of you know, I am a teacher. So... Frozen 2 came out. That's all the kids wanted to listen to. Even my infants, like, loved that soundtrack. So, yeah. I've been guilty of watching Frozen 2. Next up, I have been watching National Geographic's. That was the best part of the Disney app. Again, this, this video is in no particular order. Because, like I said, I've been watching the same things. So, National Geographic's. Y'all know I am an, I'm an animal lover. It's not a lot like what I would have liked to see on the National Geographic's app, but it's a work in progress. But I'm here for everything on the National Geographic's app right now. Like once once they put all six seasons of Beyond the Limit Mount Everest, because they took them all off Amazon Prime, which will be another video, but they definitely took third through six seasons off of Amazon Prime and it's only the first two seasons but once they put that on Disney Plus game over next up That's So Raven y'all know the vibes I don't understand why this wasn't picked up for more seasons do y'all think maybe Orlando Brown wouldn't have lost his mind if we would have continued 
the filmings for That's All Raven? Who knows? I, I could only imagine what following Raven through college would have might have looked like, maybe? Yeah. So, next up. I, if, if, you, if we're in the same age bracket, and if you were not watching Kim Possible, I, I don't, I, I can't even, I can't with you. I refuse because I, and I used to be so jealous with the people who would have the communicator as their like text message alert. Oh my God. You know, she go vibes. That's what we're getting here. I love me some she go. It's a whole, it's a whole vibe about it. I love me some Shigo, but I I don't understand how, like, I have a friend who he just started watching Kim Possible, the cartoon. I'm not judging you, CJ. I'm not. But I'm, I'm glad a lot of you are discovering the greatness that was Disney 90s. I'm telling, once somebody buys Nickelodeon's catalog, game over. I will gladly sit through quarantine if somebody buys Nickelodeon's category. I said this before and I will keep saying it. Someone needs to just make a Nickelodeon app, put all the old shows on it. Please all the 90s kids. Next up, one of my absolute favorite, favorite movies. And I enjoyed the book. Holes. I loved that movie. It was amazing. The soundtrack was amazing. I'm tired of digging granddad. <laughs> I I enjoyed it. Like Holes is the movie. I enjoyed it. Now, if anybody knows me, Y'all know I loved me some Cheetah Girl. Oh, oh my! I I loved the Cheetah Girls. I I was all for what they were trying to promote. Do we need a Cheetah Girls for? Yes and no. Um, I think we deserve to see what happened after India, but. I don't think we needed them to go to India. Um, I I feel now that since there is a Cheetah Girl story, we definitely deserve to know what happened after the fact. But I was a Cheetah Girls fanatic from the soundtracks to like I was even feeling them as an actual group. It. It was foolproof. Like they could have been a, like a real, real legit pop thing if we just would have stuck to, stuck together. But I do think now we need a fourth movie, especially now since Keely did the whole live with Raven. I do think Keely and Adrian need to speak for like maybe they should do a live. Maybe we should try to get that to happen first. We definitely need to try to get Adrian and Keely to jump on an Instagram live first. And then I think everybody would be on board to do a Cheetah Girls 4. I think Sabrina just had a baby though, but I think we would all be on board if they hatch out whatever issues that they have. But love me to Cheetah Girls movie. Next up, Double Team. This, this is how I know I'm showing my age because a lot of people don't know about Double Team. At the time when this came out, I believe, I don't, I don't remember if I was in junior high or freshly going into high school when Double Team came out. I feel like I was in junior high and I was playing ball at the time when this came out. Again, if you're a girl who plays ball or you appreciate the art of basketball, watch this movie. It's based on a true story. Watch this movie. I, I enjoyed it. Like, I can watch this movie over and over again because it was, like, somebody pressures you, like, they're not, okay, they're pressuring you, but it's something that you know you're good at, but you want to dabble in other things, and then you, you're trying to make everybody happy, you're trying to please the world. 
great story. Great, great backstory. Next movie. The 13th year. I don't know what my parents was letting me watch. <laughs> but the 13th year. Oh my God. I... <laughs> dude was turning into a whole merman i really feel a part two for this shit it came out because i wanted to know if he became a human again <laughs> it was it was a dope movie like the kid was just trying to live his best life and then ended up turning into a fish hmm interesting very <laughs> super duper duper interesting folks like <laughs> the first time i saw the movie i was weak but it was a dope movie next <laughs> next up sister act two is on disney's disney plus i didn't know disney had any hand in that movie i really didn't this is the for the for you younger folks you folks who kind of know what sister act is but you don't fully know this is the one with lauren hill in it this is what like a lot of people know Lauren Hill from one of the greatest movies ever. I I did not really enjoy Sister Act 1 too much, but Sister Act 2, I was I can, again, all of this stuff that I'm mentioning, I can watch multiple times over and over and over and I'm so happy it's in one place and I don't have to look on one of the Fire Stick apps to watch it and look for a link that works and let it buffer and this that and like Everything that, that like I've been listening, I can constantly put in a rotation and watch. Last up, because I don't want this video to run long, The Proud Family, the show and the movie. I'm I can't I don't know what's taking them so long to put the new Proud Family on this app, but they need to hurry up and put a move on it. Because that is what we're waiting for. I I'm so sad that there aren't a lot of black based shows and black based cartoons geared to kids anymore because i feel like growing up i had such not a wide representation but i had a good representation of girls that looked like me on tv from your penny prouds to your ravens to your tainas to your moishas i like there were girls that actually looked like me minus the green hair but they looked like me on tv Nowadays, it's not really that many options. So, but the Proud Family, man, if you if you got kids that are like between the age of six, and thirteen, sit them down and watch this. Like they they need to watch this cartoon because it it had a little bit of everything in it, and it was amazing to see black family with both parents grandparent siblings friends like it was the reality of life and you can't knock it so i can't wait to see what this new proud family is going i can't wait to see penny in college it's going to be lit honorable mentions all the disney princess movies from pocahontas to mulan to snow white to your princess and the frog to your sleeping beauty all the Disney princesses get an honorable mention because I am still a five-year-old at heart. Honorable mention to Hercules. I hear there's a live version of this coming too. Y'all you know, just gotta leave some stuff, some classics alone. Like y'all pulled that Lion King BS out of nowhere and it was like watching the Discovery Channel. I was low-key mad. I paid to go see that. Like, some some things are just better left undone. Like, <sighs> y'all gonna, y'all gonna try, y'all gonna make that Hercules remake happen. And I'm, I'm gonna watch it though. Same way I'm gonna watch that Mulan nonsense. Y'all gonna pull out of nowhere too that didn't need to happen because, um, y'all know the guy, Sh Shane. Chun Li, whatever his name was, he he's not gonna be in it. Mushu's not in it. I'ma still watch it though, but I'm not. Y'all uh, y'all y'all are the real the real ninety babies Disney fans. Y'all know the vibes already. 
y'all know the vibes all the way but other than that like i said this video is running long so i'm gonna leave it at that like i said second video for what i've been watching in quarantine um i think next up i'm going to do a youtube of what i've been watching and that might i've been watching a lot of nonsense on youtube <laughs> y'all put a lot of y'all put a lot of nonsense on this app as well so i think i should dabble in what i've been watching on youtube my my hey taste on youtube is very weird so stay tuned for that if you haven't already like subscribe comment share the video it costs zero dollars to subscribe to my channel and zero dollars to share and like a video let's get the numbers up once again folks so until then i hope everybody stays safe wash your hands cover your mouth and your nose and take your vitamins and i will catch you guys in the next one